This is Cameron Chai from azom.com, bringing another episode of Azo TV. Today we're speaking to Richard Larson from Jasco, and he's going to tell us about their MS5200 spectrophotometer. Thank you, Cameron. Appreciate it. Um, actually, we're talking about the MSV5000 series because there's three models to this system. One from UV-Vis, one through the UV-Vis near IR, up to 2700 nanometers. Another one that goes to 1600 using uh, optimum sensitivity with any gas detector. The system is based on a, a scanning monochromator focused through a, a, um, a microscope system that uses all reflective optics. And so the Cassegrain system provides the ability to collect a wide range of spectra without changing objectives or having to worry about losing sensitivity from a refractive objective. As well, the system has the ability to do high resolution from 10, nan 10 nanometers slit width all the way down to 0.1. So we find quite a bit of flexibility here and capability in terms of doing a wide variety of samples from specialty optics to small filter systems to LCD screens, um, lots of different materials analysis applications. Um, the system can be fitted with an, an XYZ auto stage instead of the manual stage you see here. And we can do mapping of, of a sample and get even more information on the sample morphology and the chemistry of that sample. Um, this, the MSV5000 series is the second generation of this type of microspectrophotometer. And we're very happy to bring this to our, our customers and hope that they'll find this very useful for their research and QC applications. So, so having research and QC op, uh, op applications mean it's suitable for R&D and industrial applications? Absolutely, yes. I mean, everything from, you know, like we talked about, materials analysis. Um, geez, I mean, the, the, we haven't even explored all the possibilities yet. Um, but we're really excited about the product because there's so much capability here. And um, being able to do small size samples down to as small as 20 microns to as large as um, a millimeter by millimeter, for instance, and being able to provide a lot of information for our customers as they, they look at their samples in this system. And what's the maximum sample size it can deal with? Uh, as large as the stage will travel, approximately um, two, two inches by three inches. And even though it's not here, I presume that it connects up to a PC or some oh, yes. sort of computer I'm control sorry. system? Yeah, it's, it's all USB interface. Um, the video screen, the video camera will provide the video picture so you can image your sample, you can see exactly where you're, you're looking to, uh, to collect data from. There's a, a different aperture system with circular apertures and adjustable uh, square apertures, as well as the ability to collect that data and put it in a number of different formats for printout or for viewing on the screen. All right, Richard, thanks for taking a few minutes to tell us about the 5000 series spectrophotometers. And anybody, if anybody wants more information about those, they can find that on your website. Uh, yes, sir, at www.jascoinc.com. All right, Richard, thanks for taking a few minutes to tell us about your spectrophotometers. Thank you, sir. Have a good day.